Hello everybody. Today we will be discussing about concurrent engineering. It is a subtopic of project management that is institute elective for BE eighth semester civil. The topic which we are going to discuss what is the meaning of concurrent engineering? What are the advantages of concurrent engineering? And how it is going to be applicable and what are the uses of concurrent engineering. This is what we will be discussing today. Now, first of all, what is the meaning of concurrent engineering? Concurrent engineering is a work methodology emphasizing parallelization of tasks which is sometimes called simultaneous engineering or integrated product development using an integrated product team approach. So the word here it is going to be what you can see parallelization of task. That means many of the works are done at the same time. It is not that we don't wait for one activity to be over and then the next to be started. So the activity or the task will be working together in a parallel way so that more amount of work can be completed in a lesser time. Once again, concurrent engineering is also known as simultaneous engineering is a method of designing and developing products in which different stages run simultaneously rather than consecutively okay so the different stages run simultaneously that means at the same time you can see that it is running the different operations are running simultaneously so what is it decreases the product development time and also the time to market leading to improved productivity and reduced cost. So these are considered to be the advantages. Product development time is reduced. Time to market again that is decreased. There is increase in the productivity and also at the same time reducing the cost. A major advantage the concurrent engineering offers is that it allows the companies to deliver their products to market in much shorter time frame. Because previous lectures we are discussing about the lead time. When an order is being placed, there is a minimum time by which the products are getting ready. So that lead time is getting reduced so that the final product is getting available at the earliest. Here, concurrent engineering allows workers on several stages to work simultaneously, shortening the time to market. Even reaching the market from the finished product, even that is also getting reduced. So, advantages. Concurrent design, concurrent design and manufacturing involves simultaneously completing the design and manufacturing stages of production. Usually in the product life cycle, what we have seen, there is a stage, design stage, construction, production stage, manufacturing stage, different stages. But here you can see, even the design and the manufacturing it is almost at the same time things are getting done. So there is much advantage of the time so that the products are going to be ready and is ready to be marketed. By completing the design and manufacturing stages at the same time, products are produced in less time by lowering the cost. There is an increase in the productivity and the lowering of the cost. Again, once again, concurrent engineering is a management and engineering philosophy for improving quality and reducing costs. 
and lead time from the product conception to product development for new products and products manufacturing. So the lead time is getting reduced. When you give the order, immediately the products are getting ready. There is no wastage of time or no waiting. Simultaneously, the products are getting. Now, how it works? The three main areas of concurrent engineering, what we can see. Why we are getting the things done at the earliest? Without waiting for the lead time, what you can see? The products are getting manufactured when the order is going to be there. Because design, construction, production, manufacturing, there is no wastage of time. It is done almost at the same time. It is simultaneously. This is going to be the parallel actions are going to be there. That is why there is going to be lesser time and the manufacturing is done very easily and at the same time marketing is also done without wastage of any time. The three main areas to concurrent engineering we can classify how it is being achieved. So the factors, the three factors to be taken care number one it is about the people, number two it is about the process that is being involved and uh, three, it is about the technology by which new products are designed and manufactured. So these are the three main key locating areas by which this concurrent engineering is going to be a successful venture. So it involves the people, it involves the process, it involves the technology. See, when I say the first point is about the people, it is about formation of the team members and the training process. Here you can see that the team members are formed at the earliest and they are being allocated depending upon their expertise and also the required training to them is given to them at the earliest. But it should not happen that when they started working only there can be problems. So that is being avoided by giving a proper training. This training can be maybe at the induction time or at regular interval or whenever any new products are going to be delivered, manufactured and delivered, then also at the same time there is going to be proper training is being given. So the entire organization is being formed in such a way that there is going to be expert in all the team members. The group members are having expert members who knows the work and they are motivated people. That is the reason why we are able to complete the job in a lesser time. Because what we have seen, simultaneously we are working at the same time. So different kinds of works are being carried out at the same time. Parallel activities which we have studied in the case of network also, there are going to be n number of parallel activities and we try to see that these activities are also done at the same time and also the people who are working in the organizations are being trained to the required so that they will not make any mistake the rejection rate is going to be a zero because they are being properly trained for the work that is being assigned to them. That means even though there are going to be specialist people are going to be there but still we can see that almost all the people in the organization 
they are being trained so whatever may be the type of work which is given to them they are able to execute at the minimum time without any wastage they will be able to do it the second day is going to be the process that is being involved in the manufacturing so concurrent engineering the first point is about the people are being selected then they are being trained and the second point is regarding the process as we know any manufacturing the basic it is going to be the input process and the output so the main work that is being carried out it is regarding the process that is being involved it can be process can be anything for the product from a raw product from a raw material from one stage to another we call it as a process being involved so we can see that there are changes in your processes we are not working as per the conventional methods there are going to be a number of changes that is being given so that the ultimately what we are getting the time is getting reduced and the products are not at all going as waste and there is an open possibility for change at any time in case if you feel that there is a change in the design or change in the way of doing or change in the timing required anything is possible so there is no strict rule no you have to adhere to this or that it is open to the changes that is considered to be one of the main advantage we are not bothering about how previously we were working yeah. any day we have any way we have to complete the job and see to it that any new modern methods available we are going for a change change is openly accepted ready for any kind of change so process involved changes in your process and also the organization and the people are ready for any kind of changes and the last one it is about the technology so the latest technology that is being used implemented in the manufacturing like computer aided design computer aided manufacturing or any kind of softwares or hardware or networking all are being experimented properly so that we will not we will be able to complete the job and also see to it that the products are going to be of higher quality there is no wastage at all no second grade material outputs are all the out which is going to be class number 1 type number 1 so there is no rejection at all we are making use of the new technologies like cad cam and also the latest softwares and hardwares and networking so that we will be able to complete the work in time and this is what we call it as a concurrent engineering and i hope you will have a good idea about what you understand by concurrent engineering thank you thank you very much